As the sun shines in all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome and welcome back to Lox Lux Lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. So today I am back with another retwist in style with me. So let's get right into it. I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I washed my hair off camera. And for my style today, I am going to be recreating this really like popular viral hairstyle that's been going around this summer with like the cornrows and the knotless braids in the back. But I'm gonna flip it and make it work for us lot girlies. So yeah. Let me show y'all what I did. So my hair is damp and I'm gonna start by just oiling my locks. I'm using this black Jamaican castor oil. It also has rosemary oil in it as well. And I'm just going to uh, massage that into my locks, squeeze them into my locks. And then I'm also gonna go in with some do grow along my hairline and on my scalp. You guys know the routine. And I just recolored my hair like at the beginning of the month. And you guys can see how much it's already fading. And I just got my nails done. So I'm going to be having on gloves throughout this video if you guys are wondering why I got on these white gloves. But I'm going to just start by sectioning off my hair from ear to ear. And this may or may not be perfect depending on your grid. Mine's is not like a perfect part straight across, but I tried to get it as even as possible. And I'm just gonna tuck my locks out the way in the back. So here's the first twist, y'all. I had to do it off camera because I had to figure out what I was doing. Um, it is really long. I also fed in some water wave hair at the end. Um, and so far it's really lightweight. I was worried that this style would be heavy, but so far with this one, it's extremely lightweight so yeah i'm gonna do the next one and show y'all what i'm doing so i'm just sectioning off the next area for my next flat twist at first i had it with just two locks but i went back and redid it with three locks but yeah i'm just getting my part straight so first I'm just smoothing out my part with some aloe vera gel. If you're interested in purchasing the aloe vera gel that I use, it can be found in my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description box. And then to retwist, I'm gonna be using my Lock Booster Spider Grip. So I'm just starting by retwisting all of those locks that will be used for that flat twist. So right now it's two locks, but again, after the fact off camera I did take the braid down um, and add the third lock to it but yeah if you're doing a flat twist just go ahead and retwist all the locks that you'll be using within that flat twist first Okay, so this is where it kind of gets a little confusing for me. So usually I'll retwist this way and then I'll combine them that way. But since I'm doing like a flat twist. Okay, so you want to do something like that. So for the style, I'm gonna be doing extended twists. So I'm gonna get my hair going, these locks twisted together. I'm gonna to twist down a little bit and then I'm going to take my hair. So I'm using this Cuban twist hair to do my extended twists. So I've used Marley hair and spring twist hair, but so far this Cuban twist hair is my favorite to use for extended twists. It matches my natural texture a lot better it's easier to work with it blends better all of that so this is the hair that i'm going to be using today i purchased this from my local beauty supply store i got it in the color number four in 16 inches i purchased four packs before this style i ended up only using two packs so the hair comes in like pre-section clusters and i used one cluster for each braid but i split it in half so i'm going to take that first half that i split and i'm going to begin feeding it in to my twist when i get about halfway down and i feel like when you feed the hair in like midway instead of just feeding it in at the end it helps keep the twist more consistent so that's what i'm doing i'm twisting down and then when i get close to the end i'm going to feed in that other half of hair and then i'm just going to continue twisting until i get down to the bottom and as i'm twisting the hair together i'm also twisting each side if that makes sense so like it's hard to explain but you want to twist 
the individual sections as you're twisting the two strands together. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not. And then when I get close to the end, I'm gonna take a little piece of water wave hair. I just had some water wave hair laying around in my like hair stash. And I'm gonna feed that into the bottom. This isn't necessary, but I just kind of wanted my ends to have a little bit more of like a springy ringlet. So yeah, I want it to be a little curly. So that's why I fed the water wave piece in at the bottom, but this is optional. You don't have to do it, but this is what it looks like once I'm all done. And one of the details I really like about this viral style is that they have like individual knotless braids kind of mixed in throughout the cornrows. So I decided to kind of recreate that detail. So for this next row, I'm just going to do just two two strand twists. Um, I'm not gonna flat twist them. So I'm taking two locks and I retwist to the right and I combine the twist together to the left and I'm going to twist them together and I'm going to do the same process of feeding in the Cuban twist hair to extend it but these are just like more so individual twists instead of flat twists so they have a little more movement they kind of hang forward I can flip them over um yeah I just think it's a really cute detail I also fed in a little bit of like loose curly hair throughout this style but I didn't do it on every twist um you'll kind of see it throughout a few braids but I started to make it a thing but then I was like I don't want to make this a thing so I decided to keep most of the twists just kind of basic but yeah if you see a little curly pieces here and there it's because I did feed in a couple of little curly pieces um throughout these twists but yeah I'm just creating these individual two strand twists right here and this is how it looks again it has a little more movement so if i want to flip it the, to the other side i can do that with the other ones going back And I apologize, you guys. I didn't really record myself doing the rest of the flat twists. I'm not gonna lie, these flat twists were getting me a little mixed up. So I was kind of struggling doing this part. But once I master like doing my flat twists, I do wanna do like a dedicated video, a real, real tutorial showing you guys how to do them um, or just adding my little two cents to them. But I did do a few more flat twists going back and this is how one side looks. And I basically repeated the same process on the other side and I didn't do any special detailing I kind of just parted it off just with how my natural grid is and this is how it looks it looks really cute um so yeah I'm just going to pull that hair up out of the way while I begin to work on the back part of my head and again for the back I'm just going to do regular two strand twists only thing is that I'm extending them I have several two strand twist videos on my channel so I'm not doing anything super special other than making them long so again when I do my two strand twist I retwist two locks at a time so you'll see me do that here I'm going to retwist this first lock and then I'm going to retwist the one next to it that I'm going to be using for the twist and the main key with two strand twists is just to make sure that you're combining the locks together in the opposite direction in which you retwisted them I feel like it sounds wordy but yeah I retwist clockwise and when I combine the locks together I combine them going counterclockwise and that is what's going to create a nice twist it's going to make it stay if you do it the other way they'll unravel um but yeah that's it I'm going to split the hair and feed in the Cuban twist hair like I did at the top and then I feed in the water wave hair at the end and that was my process I feel like when you look at this style, it looks kind of complicated, but at the core, it is pretty simple. If you've done two strand twists on your hair before, you'll definitely be able to do this style. And if you've never done two strand twists on your hair before and you want to, if you give it a little practice, um, you'll be able to 
get it down like it took me a while to get my two strand twists really good the first couple of times I did them they were not all that good they used to unravel but now I think I've got my technique down and I'm usually able to just move through the process really quickly and smoothly And I didn't record myself doing the whole back because again, I've done two strand twists so many times on my channel. So I didn't feel like it was really necessary, but this is what it's looking like. I have one more braid left. For that last braid at the top, I had three locks left. So I kind of like braided it at the root and then kind of twisted it to make sure that it was flat. Um, sometimes you just gotta work with it and make it work to the best of your ability. But yeah, that's what I did for these last three locks at the top, which you'll see me do. And here is how it looks once everything is completed. All of my twists are in. I think it looks really good. I really love the overall concept of this style. I'm gonna take my front half down so you guys can get like the full effect of it. And yeah, now this is a lot of hair. I will say that it's a lot of hair. If you're not dealing with a lot of hair, it is a lot of hair. But surprisingly, it is super lightweight. I've, again, y'all see me do so many styles on my channel. And this one is very comfortable. Um, wearing it down, it doesn't feel extra weighted. When I wear it up in a bun, it doesn't feel extra weighted. It's just a lot of hair because it's long but the cuban hair the cuban twist hair in general is just very lightweight so now i'm just touching up my edges to my liking and then i'm gonna go in with some setting foam and i'm just going to apply that throughout the top part of my hair where my flat twists are and i'm also going to run them through the ends of my twist as well And then I'm going to take some wrapping paper per usual and tie down that top part just to make sure that the flat twist set properly. And here you see me taking some more foam and I'm just running that through like the rest of the twist down to the ends. And then I'm going to take a hot towel that I steamed um, in the microwave. I just wet it and then put it in the microwave for like a minute. And I'm just going to run that through the ends of the twist. You can twist the hair, but I feel like with Marley hair and with like this type of hair you don't really need to dip it unless you want to but I am just taking a hot towel through it just to make sure that it's relaxed and it's not stiff or anything like that then I'm going to take my blow drying cap and put that on my head and I let my hair dry for about 20 minutes or so and that was really all that I did for this style y'all After it was dry, I went ahead and removed my wrapping paper and this is how the look came out. And I think it came out so good. I think this might be one of my top three favorite looks of 2023 so far. Before I retwisted my hair, I really didn't know what direction I wanted to go in. I was kind of bored. I felt like I had tried everything. So I was just really pleased with my creativity and um, going with this style to recreate. Um, yeah, I think it looks good, y'all. Let me know if there are any other like viral hairstyles or loose hairstyles that you want to see me recreate on my locks I think that would be a fun series to do but that's going to be it for this video you guys this is how it looks from the back yeah 
So again, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media platforms. And I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye. Thank you.